हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट न्यूमेरिकल मेथड्स अंडर द कॉन्सेप्ट एडवांस्ड कैलकुलस एंड न्यूमेरिकल मेथड्स देयर आर एन नंबर ऑफ मेथड्स आर देयर इन अ न्यूमेरिकल मेथड्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट न्यूटन रैप्शन मेथड सो व्हाई वी हैव टू यूज दिस न्यूटन रैप्शन मेथड मींस to find out the solution of the real root of the nonlinear equations nonlinear equation which contains even this algebraic equation and also transcendental equation what is mean by algebraic equation is nothing but it is a equation it's like a polynomial so equation in terms of x we can call that as a algebraic equation similarly what is mean by transcendental equation so transcendental equation means along with the algebraic terms some of the special terms like exponential term trigonometric logarithmic function or hyperbolic terms are there along with that algebraic term is we are going to call that as a transcendental equations so to find out the solution of that transcendental equation algebraic equation these two are comes under nonlinear equations only to find out the solution of these type of equation we are going to use this newton raphson method the same th the same to find out the solution of these type of equation we can use even some other methods also that is regular falsi method bisection method n number of methods are there but now in this ppt i am going to explain about newton raphson method so now it is clear that why we have to use this newton raphson method means to find out the solution of the non linear equations here we have to remember only the formula the formula will be like this x n plus 1 which is equals to x n minus f of x n divided by f dash of x n this is the nth formula of the newton raphson method now based on this we have to do some of the examples first example i am going to uh, explain use newton raphson method find cubic root of 37 with three decimal places with the clearly they mentioned that one equation they given instead of giving equation directly here they given they written in terms of numbers cubic equation of 37 we have to find out the basic root for this equation so with the help of this newton raphson method clearly they mention we have to fix three decimal places it means after the point three decimal has to come same value so we have to fix that three decimal places this is what the question so now how to find out the solution of this given equation with the help of newton raphson method that we will discuss in the solution so first we'll define the given equation let x equals to the given number what they given cubic root of 37 so if you taken that cubic root to this side or else you just take cube on both side so that the equation can be written as x cube equals to 37 so x cube minus 37 which is equals to 0 now we can define this in terms of f of x now we can define this in terms of f of x as x cube minus 37 in the general formula we have to find out even the first derivative also so we'll find out the first derivative that becomes f dash of x which is equals to 3x square because x cube is that differentiation will become a 3x square and the differentiation of the constant term is 0 now when x equals to 0 now we have to find out where exactly root is lies in which interval for that we have to take only f of x function 
you just start giving the values for x equals to 0 1 2 3 and so on somewhere you will get one negative one positive value there we have to stop it here also the same thing first we started at x equals to 0 we got it f of 0 has minus 37 x equals to 1 means f of 1 is minus 36 up to f of 3 we are getting negative value only whereas f of 4 we got 27 one negative one positive value we got it now which answer is very nearer to the 0 here f of 3 which is equals to minus 10 compared to f of 4 f of 3 solution is very nearer to the 0 so we have to take x naught as 3 here f dash of 3 is nothing but we are getting solution as 27 now we have to start the iteration to start the first iteration first we should write the general formula the formula will be like this x n plus 1 which is equals to x n minus f of x n divided by f dash of x n if i put x if i put n equals to 0 we are getting x 1 it means first iteration so the formula will become x naught minus f of x naught by f dash of x naught all the values we got already x naught is 3 f of x naught is minus 10 f dash of x naught is 27 all the values we have to substitute in the formula on simplification we got the value of x1 as 3.3707 this value we have to with the help of this we can find out the value of f of x1 and also f dash of x1 because these two values we need to find out the values of the second iteration in a general formula if i put 10 equals to 1 means we can write the second iterative formula has x2 equals to x1 minus f of xn divided by f dash of x1 all the values are there you just substitute simplify you will get x2 has 3.3313 similarly now we'll go for the next iteration because x1 x2 these two are having little bit of error we'll go for the next iteration in a general formula if i put 10 equals to 2 so we can write the third iterative formula we need x2 f of x2 f dash of x2 all the values are there substitute in this equation do the simplification so you can get the values as 3.331 whereas x2 value is also same so now because x2 and x3 both are same 3.331 so no need to go for the next iteration this is what our required root with the help of newton raption we now we'll go for one more example using newton raption method find real root correct to three decimal places cos x minus x e to the power x which is equals to zero which lies near x equals to 0 0.5 clearly you just observe here no need to find out where exactly root is lies so here because already they given the value of x naught in the question itself that is x naught equals to 0 0.5 and in a given equation cos x minus x into e to the power x is there when in a given equation trigonometric term is there first we have to set our calcium in terms of radian mode so first we have to define f of x has cos x minus x into e to the power x of the on differentiation f dash of x can be written as minus sin x minus x e to the power x minus e to the power x so f of x naught x naught value already they given in the equation that is 0.5 so you just find out f of 0.y and also f dash of 0.1 so you will get the value has 0.053 and minus 2.95 after getting these two directly you just go for finding the first iterative value x1 on substitution we are getting x1 as 0.518 meanwhile we can find even f of x1 and also f dash of x1 so we are getting the value of f of x1 has 0 0.105 and f dash of x1 has minus 2.8 now in a second iteration 
x2 equals to x1 minus f of x1 f dash of x1 already we got these values in a previous iteration 1 substitute these values in this equation on simplification we are getting the value of x2 has like this x2 equals to 0 0.5185 since x1 x2 both are same 0 0.518 we correct it to three decimal places so the required root is 0 0.518 so no need to go for the next iteration this is what our required value now this is what newton rapture thank you